Today's topic is analysis of statically determinate of rigid frames. So as you can see, we have triangular loads here, which is 20, 12 kN per meter. And then we have 6 kN for horizontal. And then we have 3, 3, and 6 for the distance, and also 2 and 2 meters. So we have points A, B, C, D, and E. So number 1, we have to consider the number of static reactions. So we have 3 plus 1 is 4 reactions. Next, we also have one conditions and the static equation. So we have one, two, and three. So we have three static equations. So after determining if it is determinate or indeterminate structure, we have to add three plus one is four. So that is four is equal to four. Or you can use a three B plus R and the three J plus C. It depends on how you interact with the formula for determinate of rigid frames okay next is we have to determine the okay, the EV and also the DV okay so we have to isolate this so as you can see by means of ratio and proportion ito yung big triangle natin which is 12 all over 12 and also ito naman yung small triangle natin to find y okay so we have y all over in na ito so we have 3 plus 3 is 6 so this is 1 so therefore our y is probably 6 kilonewton per meter so lagay natin dito is 6 kilonewton per meter if this is 6 kilonewton per meter probably 12 minus 6 is also here is 6 kN per meter. Next is we have to determine this reaction. So this is your EV. So ito, pag kinot natin to, itong conditions natin, of course, we still have here EV forces. Okay, so determine muna natin kung ilan ang value niyan. So by means of I kunin muna natin yung resultant. So, this is 1 half base, which is 6 times 6. So, we have 1 half 6 multiplied by 6. Kasi ito, triangle natin is 6 times 6 na lang. So, we have 18 kilo newton for the resultant. Next, ito naman, 6 times 6 is 36. Kunin natin to. So, we have here 36 Hindi ko lang 36. Next, ilan ba yung distance na to? That is the one-third of 6. So, which is equivalent to 2 meters. Ito naman ay two-third ng 6. So, that is equal to 4 meters. So, para malaman yung EV natin, pwede, natin, pwede tayong gumamit ng summation moment at D. Saan yung D natin? So, this is D. What V yan? Okay, D. Para dyan natin ma-determine kung ano ba yung mga gagawin natin or ilagay natin ha dv para ma-determine natin yung value ng ev natin okay so we have summation moment at d is equal to 0 so ito yung pinaka reference natin so matatanggal sa dv so lahat ng clockwise is positive so we have 36 multiplied by 3 okay plus 1 half base times height is 18 Multiply natin yung distance nito, which is 4. Minus yung EV natin. Multiply this distance is 6, is equal to 0. So, therefore, EV, ayan, um, 36 times 3 plus 18 times 4 divided by 6 is 30 kilo newton. Okay, so that is our EV. Next, kailangan muna natin hanapin si dy by means of summation forces vertical is equal to 0. Upward is positive. Okay, so we have 18 because this is lagay lang natin dito this is 30. Asan yung 18? Here. So, downward yan. So, negative. Minus 36 and then upward natin is 30. So, plus dv is equal to 0. So, what is our dv? dv is equivalent to 8, negative 18 minus 36 plus 30 is 24. So, that is 24 kilo newton. Okay, next. 
Okay, consider the whole structure. So, in-isolate ko to. Nilagay ko muna rito para pwede kong burahin mamaya pag na-indicate ko na lahat ng details dito. So, we have to know the ito po, AV. Kasi this is fixed. Okay, so ibig sabihin is three yung reactions. Yan, horizontal, vertical, and moment. So, we have here AV. Kung ito yung direction ng horizontal natin, ibig sabihin, possible na assumption ko lang to ha, na pwede dito yung AH natin. Kasi kapag nag-negative sign naman to, ibig sabihin, mali yung direction. Pwede nyo namang baguhin. Okay? Next, we have summation moment at or moment A naman po kasi tatlo naman yan. Okay, next, we have to know this resultant. So, we have 1 half multiplied by 12 times 12 is equal to 72 kilo newton. So, what is the 1 third ng 12 natin? So, we have here 4 meters. And this is 2 third ng 12 is 8 meters. Pero, from this point hanggang dito, we have 8 minus 3 is 5 meters. So, para malaman natin kung anong value ng AH, we could use summation forces horizontal. So, ni mga horizontal natin dyan. So, summation forces horizontal is equal to 0. Positive going to the right. So, as you can see, AH is right is equal to 6 kN. Next, hanapin naman natin what is AV. Bakit kasi we have here AV? AV naman na hanapin natin. So, summation forces, vertical is equal to 0. Upward is always positive. Ano mga upward dyan? We have AV plus AV minus 72, which is your resultant is equal to 0. So, we have AV, transpose na natin yung dalawa. So, we have 72 minus 30. AV is equivalent to 42 kilo newton. So, that is our reaction for AV. Okay, for summation moment at A is equal to 0, para malaman natin si MA, so we have here, um, clockwise to be positive, so ito ay negative, counter, 6 multiplied by 2, plus 72 multiplied by, this is 5, minus natin yung 30, kasi counter siya, times 9, okay, we have UMA natin is also counter, nilagay ko. So, minus MA is equal to 0. So, transpose natin to, we have MA is equal to negative 12 plus 72 multiplied by 5 minus 30 times 9 is equal to 78 kN. Meter. Okay? Kasi we have here, negative 12 plus 360 minus 270 Transpose, so we have neg house positive 78 kilo newton. So, dito, member muna tayo. So, member AC. So, after natin makuha si member AC, next naman natin si member BE. So, dito, before we start, we have to know first the CV. By means of summation forces, vertical. So, summation forces, vertical is equal to 0. Upward is always positive. So, therefore, we have 42 minus CV is equal to 0. Therefore, CV is equal to 42 kilo newton. So, ilagay na natin dito, we have 42 kilo newton. Okay, next, uh, we have to know the summation forces here, which is horizontal, yung CH natin. Okay, unknown. So, summation forces horizontal is equal to 0. Positive. Pero, we all know that CH is wala na siyang 6 minus 6 is also 0 kN. So, probably yan ang sagot, 0. Next is, we have to know the summation moment at C. So, lagay natin dito, kung ito yung projection ng C natin, or A natin moment, so ito probably, yan. So, lagay natin MC. Pero kapag nag negative yan, hindi siya clockwise. It means na counter yung moment natin. So, we have summation moment at Kung ano yung hinahanap natin, pwede tayo doon mag-reference. So, C is equal to 0. Kasi at yung nakalagay. So, therefore, matatanggal itong vertical natin, which is yung CV. Ang matitira na lang is yung MC natin. So, yung summation moment at C is equal to 0. Clockwise is positive. Since MC is also clockwise, so that is positive. Minus 6. Minus ba to? Clockwise. 6 natin. That is positive. So, positive. 
6 times 2. How about this one? Negative. So, negative 6 multiplied by 4. And how about this one? Minus 78 is equal to 0. Okay. I'm sending that into because CH is 0. Okay. So, we have MC. Transpose na natin yan. So, the value is 90 kilonewton meter. So, this is 90 kilonewton meter. So, all we have to do is draw the shear diagram. So, 6. And then, wala namang load. Ayan. And then, bumaba. Ayan. So, that is our shear diagram. Paano naman yung moment natin? Yung moment natin, ito ay 78. So, ito, tignan natin, 6 multiplied by this is 2, so 12. So, 78 plus 12 is 90. So, let's see. This is 90. So, check naman natin yung MC. Yung MC is also 90. So, ilagay natin dyan 90. Ayan. So, this is our moment diagram. Okay. Next naman is, hanapin naman natin itong B2E natin. Okay, next is sa B, member B na tayo. Nilagay ko muna dito yung CV value natin kanina. Kanina yung mature ng CV natin is dito. So, member AC natin pababa. Pero dito, probably, ang ano natin dyan is pa-upward naman yung direction natin ng CV natin. Next, we have MA78. Renaspose ko na dito para mamaya mas makita natin. Okay, to draw the shear, of course, kunin natin tong area na to. So, ilan ba yan? By means of ratio and proportion, makukuha na natin yan. So, we have 12, and then 12, and then Z. All over this is 3. So, therefore, Z is equal to 3 kN per meter. So, ilagay ko dyan, 3 kN per meter. Ibig sabihin, this resultant is 1 half times 3 multiplied by 3. So, that is 9 all over 2. Well, roughly, that is 4.5. Negative kasi downward, okay? So, this is first degree. So, ibig sabihin, second degree na po ito. So, that is 4.5 negative. Okay, kilo newton. Next, we have here trapezoid. So, if this is 3 and also this is 12. So, sa trapezoid naman, kunin natin yung resultant. So, we have 3 plus 2. 12 divided by 2 multiplied by, ilan ba yung distance na to? We have 9. Okay, so that is 67.5. Since sabi ko sa inyo kanina, eto, downward yung CV natin sa diagram na to. Ayan. From B or A, C. Ngayon naman dito sa B natin, ito magiging upward na siya to make it equilibrium condition. So, ibig sabihin, negative 4.5 plus 42 is around 37.5. Okay, 37.5. So, aangat. Okay? Minus natin na 67.5 kasi ito yung pinaka-resultant ng trapezoid natin. So, nandito siya. Lagay natin, yan, we have 67 point, sorry, hindi siya 67.5. So, we have 67.5 minus 37.5, so that is 30. So, 30 minus 30 is equivalent to 0. Okay? Ulitin ko ha. So, nakuha na natin yung 37 kanina kasi... Negative 4.5 minus this reaction, which is 42. So, after natin makusunod the 7.5, ima minus natin sa resultant ng trapezoid. So, that is equivalent to 30. 30 minus this reaction is 0. Okay, so this is our N. So, this value, lagay na natin as your X. Ito. Okay, pwede naman natin ito, ilagay natin as your x. Depende, mamaya, okay, ayusin ko muna ito. Okay, so dito naman, in-isolate ko tong L. So, ito yon, Ito, trapezoid yan, ha. In-isolate ko siya dito. Next, kinuha ko naman tong part nito dito para sa ratio and proportion natin. So, by means of ratio and proportion, 
Okay, malalaman natin yung value ng L. Since that is 12 all over 12 is equal to L. 12 minus X. So, roughly, L is equal to 12 minus X. So, ibig sabihin, okay, yung L value natin dito is 12 minus X. Okay, so, ito ngayon, kung ito ay 12, okay, ito ay 12 minus X. So, ito ay 12 minus 12 minus 12 minus x. So, ilan ang value nito? Ang value nito ay 12 minus 12 plus x. So, that is equivalent to x value. Okay? So, ito naman is also x. Okay, so ito, magiging 1 half base times height. So, that is x squared all over 2. How about this one? Ito naman po ay 12 minus x multiplied by x. So, that is for this resultant. Okay? Vn, that is equivalent to 0. So, ngayon, to determine the x, we have to know the summation forces y is equal to 0. Upward is positive. So, we have 30 minus 12 minus x multiplied by x okay minus x squared all over 2 is equal to 0 okay so I use in go we have 30 okay 30 minus this is 12x kasi may multiply ko na rin to negative negative positive x squared minus x squared all over 2 is equal to 0. So, this is x squared all over 2 minus 12x okay, plus 30 is equal to 0. Ito, para matanggal ito, i-multiply natin lahat dyan. So, x squared minus 24x 2 times 3 is 60. So, plus 60 is equal to 0. So, by means of quadratic equation, makukuha natin niya yung formula natin which is negative b plus minus okay square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a so by means of that we determine the x okay distance okay by means of yun nga quadratic equation we have x is equal to 12 minus 2 square root of 21 or this is 2.8348 okay next after natin makuha yan, pwede na natin substitute dun sa mga values natin. Okay, so this is 12 minus 2 square root of 21. So, ayusin natin dito. 12 minus 2 square root of 21. Okay, so dito, meron tayong 12 minus 2 square root of 21. I-minus natin to sa distance na to, which is ito yung 6. So, ang answer is 2 square root of 21. And yung natitira is 3 meters. So, kunin na natin yung area nito. So, 1 third base, which is 3, and then height is 4.5. So, we have 1 third 3 multiplied by 4.5. So, that is equivalent to still negative 4.5 para dito. So, ito po yun. Okay, that is negative 4.5. Next is, kunin na natin to So, isolate lang natin. Ayan, and then ibaba natin dito. So, extend natin yan. So, ito yung magiging itsura. So, ito yung hahanapin na natin. So, whole na ito, minus natin yung rectangle, and then also this two-third, okay? So, ito yung diagram natin. Negative 3 plus 2 is square root of 21 pala yun, ha? Okay, so ito yung diagram natin. So, in-isolate ko lang ito. Yung sinabi ko sa inyo kanina. So, we have 3 and then negative 3 plus 2 square root of 21. We have 4.5 and 37.5. Kunin natin yung total nito. Yung total nito is, okay, two-third of ito. So, ilan ba yan? So, total nito is 42. Ayan. And then, ito naman ay 2 square root of 21. So, two-third multiplied by 2 square root of 21 times 42. So, that is equivalent to, pwede na natin to store kay a na lang para hindi na masyadong magulo yung numbers natin. And then, ito naman, we have, okay, so, 
Ito, that is 56 square root of 21. Ito naman, we have, ito yun ha, 2 third. Ayan. 2 third multiplied by, kunin natin si 3, and then kunin natin yung height na to, which is 4.5. So, yung answer dyan is, pwede nang start kay B. Next, ito naman, yung rectangle, ito po yun, we have, 2 square root of 21 multiplied by 3. So, store natin kay C. Okay, yung naka-store kay A, B, C, all we have to do is, itong area total, yung big na yan, i-minus natin sa area nito, which is B, minus dito natin sa C. So, answer is 135.124238. Or, store na lang natin kay F kasi gagamitin pa natin yan mamaya. So, ito, we have 4.5. Di ba kanina, meron tayo sa moment C natin. Yung moment C natin, clockwise is 90 kN. Ngayon, dito kasi may moment din. So, ibig sabihin, kung clockwise kanina, ngayon naman, counterclockwise. So, ano ibig sabihin pag counterclockwise? Downward. So, mag-add tayo ng 4.5. So, 90 negative 90 kasi dito, magiging counter na siya okay, draw lang natin okay, ganito, yan so, counter, so, ibig sabihin mag-add dito, so, we have 94.5 94.5 kilonewton meter, i-minus natin ng F, so, ito yon okay so, ilan naman yan so, that is equivalent to 40 point 6 2 4 2 8 or 3 8 yan lagay natin 3 8 9 okay ulitin ko ha 94.5 minus yung f na nakuha natin that is 40.6242389 okay so ito naman saan galing to so so mga previous topic natin di ba ito yon Ayan. Ito yun, di ba? Ayan. Nandiyan. Pero ito, yung 4.5 natin, inangat ko. Nilagay ko rito. And extend ko siya. Tapos, nandayot natin papunta dyan. And then, yan. So, ito po yun. Okay? So, area total, that is one third ng ito, value na to. Ilan po yun? So, we have this is, yung total lang naman nito is 9 plus 3 is 12. Okay, and this one is 72. Pwede na natin store yan kay A para mabilis. Next, area this one, that is 1 third. Okay, 1 third ng 42 multiplied by 2 square root of 21. Store mo ulit kay B. And then, last is area of rectangle. So, we have 12 minus 2 square root of 21, multiplied lang natin ng 42. Store natin kay C. So, to determine the area 3, we have area total minus the area of, yan, 1 third minus the area of rectangle. So, all we, um, A3 is, okay, nagay natin. Okay, A3 80 minus yan is 40 point ay 6 2 4 2 3 8 9 So, ibig sabihin this moment uh, minus this area 3 kasi area nyan so that is equivalent to 0 Okay? Hindi pa tayo tapos kasi lalagay muna natin yan doon sa whole structures natin para makita natin yung moment diagram so, zero. Okay, so, ito yung figure ng shear diagram natin. So, kinuha ko lang yung kaninang member, kanina, and then drawing ko. And then also, kinuha ko to and then nilagay ko dito para sa whole structure natin for V diagram. And also, for the moment diagram, ito rin, this is member AC kanina. And then, kinuha ko din to for your member, um, this is B to E. So, nilagay ko siya dito to have your moment diagram. So, that is the shear and moment diagram. Okay, that's it.